Hi everyone, this is an update on the uh, solid state uh, generator uh, experiments here. The um, small ferrite here with the windings with this added ferrite here at the bottom uh, comes to uh, 60 uh, millihenries and the DC resistance of it is about 11 ohms. Uh, what I decided to do is actually um, set up the uh, input to the signal generator uh, uh, operating off of a inverter. So basically let's start at the beginning here. At the back there I have my variac feeding uh, 13, uh, well, feeding voltage here in this uh, capacitor here that has a bridge rectifier. That capacitor there is maintaining the voltage on this uh, 12 amp hour uh, 12 volt battery maintains it exactly at 13 volts and then the output of the battery comes to this uh, 47,000 microfarad capacitor and that has a 1 ohm precision resistor here one of those resistors that I've made across going to feed the other capacitor here and uh, this capacitor then is attached to the um, inverter here and the reason for all of this is to maintain a very very continuous signal so here we've got a, a rough DC coming in and it's filtered by 3900 microfarad but the battery here makes it very very clean uh, continuous DC and uh, then that is going to this capacitor here and then this capacitor here is isolating the pulses that this one could be actually sending back so what we want to have is a very very clean DC going across this resistor between the two capacitors so that's why all this configuration is there and with this we can maintain uh, we can see exactly exactly what is a minute minute change uh, from the uh, signal generator and that's what I'm trying to uh, monitor here and it works very well. Right now I have my uh, output of the uh, signal generator very low uh, it's about 1.8 uh, volts uh, RMS right there and if we look at this is a high-end meter that I have that gives a lot of digits so uh, this one here that's one amp so right now it's consuming 1.2636 amps uh, just uh, functioning the way it is right now and uh, as soon as I make any small change so what I'll do is I'll zoom out a bit here and I'll show you as soon as I increase the level the output you're gonna see exact exact changes on the uh, on that meter on top and these are these correspond to amps so just forget the one it's always going to be one amp but this is what's changing here these two or three digits here so we're with, with the uh, output now of the signal generator full out we're at uh, 279 or let's call it uh, two, uh, 28 okay so it's exactly at 28 right now and that's what we're going to be uh, looking at uh, these changes now what I'll do is I'll just tune uh, change the frequency now I've gone down and as you go down in frequency uh, it uses less power I'm not changing the output I'm just changing the frequency and you can see it here as I change the frequency now I'm going down so the lower frequency I go down the less uh, power the uh, generator will consume and now I'll go back up so now I'm at about 1.6 megahertz 1.8 megahertz and there is 2 megahertz so you see that any small changes uh, it is very accurate so here on the uh, output side which is that uh, switch mode power supply uh, ferrite transformer I've been, uh, connected a uh, LED instead of that bulb the LED is very easy to see that you know when it comes on so that's a little better and the other thing too is uh, I had the uh, scope probes of my second 
uh, scope on this side of the circuit and I found through tests that actually there was power coming in to the circuit from that second scope and what's happening is when this circuit gets into that uh, 180 degrees out of phase state um, all this side including this that I will connect which is that pile of uh, metal and, and, and copper and stuff like that that I'm using as a pickup uh, antenna uh, that brings in power to the circuit but it is very clear that the power is not taken from the grid side that's why I isolated all this and to make sure that there is no power that's really coming from this side. The power, where is it coming from? I don't know. Call it radiant energy if you want. Uh, this is an accumulator of radiant energy and by adding that uh, oscilloscope on this side it was bringing in somehow energy from the oscilloscope. I don't know how but it was bringing in energy through the probes. So I don't, I cannot connect anything on this side on the output side because as soon as I do uh, it's not a true thing, it's sucking in power somehow. So this thing just finds a way to suck power in. So that's what I've uh, isolated and now I'm going to give you a demonstration. So as you see now, our current is pretty well flat line. There's no activity. That is uh, what it's using right now, uh, idling like that. And what I'll do is I'll just disconnect the uh, output here to the circuit flat line completely so that's what uh, the uh, signal generator is using just sitting like that so we're at uh, 2548 and now I'll connect that in and now we're at uh, 2631 so that is the difference so that is actually 10 uh, 10 milliamps around that range so 10 milliamps is what the circuit uh, uses just to function. Okay, so now uh, when I hook up this to uh, my circuit on the output side here to complete this side, and there's actually many ways of doing this. This is not the only way you can do it. I can actually put a Tesla coil on this side and I don't need anything connected on this side, meaning that I could have just this single wire coming to this side here of this uh, transformer and having a Tesla coil in series with this load and I can tune and I can get this light to light and again the same kind of effect. Uh, but I'll, I won't show you that right now. I'm just going to go back to what I was doing. Uh, just hooking up that single lead there. And now we're hooked up and uh, now if I start tuning my signal generator uh, I will find a uh, point where the you see now the current and uh, voltage are 180 degrees uh, out of phase exactly and if we come and we look at the circuit now the LED is on it is lit and if we look at the power consumption that we're using uh, we're at uh, 2733 or 27, uh, 27, let's call it 2744. And I'll go quickly right now and just connect, disconnect this and flat line, okay? Nothing happens. And look, we're at 2752. So that's the circuit with having no, you know, resonant point, no nothing. Uh, this is connected still, but even if I dis disconnect that, it doesn't change anything. We're at 2758 still. Uh, same, same thing. So I'll do that again once more. All we do is just connect this. And LED is lit. Brightly. And we're at uh, 2748. For 2746 so around that range and now what I'll do is I'll disconnect my load just leaving this connected and you can see that if I just tune my uh, retune because with the load it's a little bit of a different uh, tuning again I'm exactly at 180 degrees uh, out of phase here right there I'm pretty well tuned 
And if we go look at um, uh, what happens right now is as I'm moving, unfortunately with the camera, it's detuning the whole circuit. So uh, here I'll tune it, I'll maintain it, I'll give you a view now. Okay, it's now It's now 180 degrees out of phase there. And if you're looking at it, it should be 2742. Uh, and now I'll disconnect that wire there to the green wire. Okay, and we're now at 2764 flat line. Okay, so um, what is uh, happening as far as I'm concerned? Well, this should prove that the energy that is happening or the power dissipation that is happening on this side of the circuit is not coming from the signal generator so where is it coming from I don't know uh, this is why I kind of find this uh, circuit is interesting and why I'm uh, uh, studying it and sharing it and this to me is uh, proof that uh, there is something interesting that's happening and uh, it's, like I say, definitely not coming from that end because there's no way you can <laughs> cheat that. This is a very, very accurate way to uh, monitor things. And as you see, any small uh, adjustments that I do here on the signal generator, uh, you know, if I bring down, let's bring down the level here again. I'm bringing down the output and you can see right away, you know, change. You see it and that's back up so any minute change here uh, you know uh, is reflected to this uh, current here and uh, if we're capable of putting this load on here and we're actually having zero change there compared to it just idling as it is obviously something has to be happening I can't disconnect that and, and you can expect there to be an output here that has to be connected but what I'm saying here is this is connected uh, and whatever is happening on this side here uh, when you put a load on this side it is not reflected back to the uh, device that is feeding the circuit and that is uh, not very standard and uh, this is uh, proof as far as I'm concerned I would be interested in seeing <laughs> uh, how this could be explained so that's it and uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.